Regardless of how prepared you are for the job interview, nerves can threaten to throw you off your interview game. Interview jitters can plague even the most prepared candidate. This video will explore six helpful methods for combating job interview nerves. Visualization is a method used by the world's most elite athletes who train for mental toughness. Like those athletes, you can use visualization to prepare for a job interview and calm your nerves. Picture yourself confidently answering interview questions. Imagine the interviewer smiling and nodding in approval when you deliver your responses. Visualize yourself walking into the building and being greeted by your friendly future coworkers. Envision yourself getting through your interview with total confidence. Your mind responds incredibly well when you create a clear mental picture of what you wish to achieve. Think of your biggest fear related to your job interview. It can be as real as forgetting the interviewer's name or as ridiculous as splitting your pants the moment you sit down. Next, think about the worst case scenario if that fear came to life. If this fear came true, what horrible impact would it have? Then make a plan to overcome the situation. If this nightmare came true, what would you do? Here's an example of this method in action. The fear, you are late for your interview. The worst case scenario, the interviewer refuses to see you because you are late. The plan to overcome. Map your route the day before and give yourself 20 extra minutes for unexpected hiccups, such as a traffic jam. Make sure that you have the contact information of the interviewer or office on hand so you can make a quick call if you might be late. Reminding yourself that this is not a life or death situation will help you get out of your head and increase your ability to shake off your nerves, ensuring that you are more present in your interview. The STOP method is connected to cognitive behavioral psychology and is often used in mindfulness practices. STOP is an acronym for stop what you are doing, take a breath, observe how you feel, proceed. In your interview, if you feel the nerves coming on, you can stop or slow your speech, take a breath before jumping into a response, observe how you feel and acknowledge those feelings, proceed with your interview response as is or pivot if necessary. Nerves usually come from the negative stories we tell ourselves. We imagine ourselves messing up or being unlikable. Cognitive behavioral therapists refer to these beliefs as thought traps. The good news is that these thought traps don't have to become your reality. By changing the story yourself, you can boost your confidence and keep your nerves at bay. Take the time to reassure yourself in the form of a mantra, a short phrase that you repeat to yourself for added assurance. Start with an I am statement. I am going to nail this job interview. I am prepared and will impress the hiring manager. I am a hard worker and I deserve this step in my career. I am confident and at peace at this moment. I am smart and I will put my best foot forward. Mantras are therapeutic, useful, and grounded in science. Repeating a mantra can change the default mode in your brain, where your thoughts go when you're at rest. By retraining your default mode, you can develop more control over your nerves. Pressure is a significant cause of job interview nerves, and this pressure usually comes from the inside. Before your interview, take stock of your expectations and the stress you are creating internally. Assess what you want to gain from your interview and set realistic expectations for yourself and the hiring company. Reasonable expectations that you could focus on include the interviewer will ask questions that allow you to shine. The interviewer will be polite and you'll feel comfortable. You might be a bit nervous, but you will do your best. Many job seekers feel disappointed after an interview because they fantasize that the hiring manager would be so impressed they get a job offer on the spot. When this doesn't happen, they feel that they failed and then psych themselves out for future interviews. Reduce the inner pressure set realistic expectations, and see your job interview performance skyrocket. The fear of rejection is the foundation of many job interview nerves. Nobody likes rejection. 
The rejection that might come after a job interview is especially hard because it feels somewhat public and highly personal. So what if you normalize rejection? Rejection isn't a bad thing. Rejection doesn't mean you aren't good enough. When you begin to see rejection as a reality that happens to everyone, you also stop attaching it to your personal or professional value. Normalizing rejection makes it much easier to dust yourself off and approach your next interview with more confidence. When you walk into a job interview with the mentality that you are there to have a conversation and determine if the role is a good fit, you can put your nerves to rest knowing that, chosen or not, you'll get the answer that's right for you. We hope this video helped you today. If you need more interview advice, remember to subscribe to our channel. Before your next interview, go to mockquestions.com and search by your career or the company you are interviewing for, and you'll find tailored questions and answers that should help you land your next job.